Yo, what's going on? Let's talk about procedural melody writing. Now, some people might object to it because it seems kind of robotic, like, where's the artistry, man? But here's the deal. I think that music that's purely aesthetically valuable is still valuable. And so I don't really care about how it got made. I just care that it sounds good. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, and how it got made can sometimes be important, but it doesn't have to be there. And especially if this helps someone get into music writing that wouldn't have otherwise, then I think that's awesome. So let's get into it. All right, so that's an example melody. Uh, which I created using this technique literally in a past take of this video. So we're gonna we're gonna just make a new one Okay, so my procedure is a four-step procedure. It goes like this step one find a cool rhythm Step two decide on your ups downs and stays which we'll get into more later Step three do some fiddly note choice and step four add wonky fun stuff. Okay, so let's start Let's start with a cool rhythm. So what does that actually mean? What I think is a really good way to do this is just have the metronome going and literally just like record yourself clapping. All right, so now I have this recording. I just recorded myself clapping over some metronome and uh, let's see, let's chop it there. This is kind of an FL feature, but if you get the piano roll up and then you get your little clap recording, you can drag it in and it'll just put the recording over there so you can see it. And it won't play when you play through it. So if I play through this, the audio isn't there, but the waveform is, so you can kind of mold your uh, MIDI around it. Really cool. Stop it. And now I'm just gonna basically copy this rhythm down. Okay, so now we have this rhythm. Okay, now obviously everything is subject to change. All these things, like this rhythm is not set in stone. We can change it if we want. You can always change it if you want, right? Obviously, okay. And if it's still kind of groovy, even with just one note, then you know you've got something good. So up, downs, and stays are exactly what they sound like when the melody is going up, when the melody is going down, and when the melody is staying around the same note. Not, not necessarily going, you know, monotone, but around the same note, so like. That would be staying, okay? So what I have here is up, stay, stay, down, up, down, stay, up, stay. And this is just like, whatever, I just chose this kind of at random. But it gives your melody shape, and this is the part where you might want to add meaning. If you want like some meaning, like you want to tell a story with your melody, this is the part where you can do that. All right, so uh, as well as I could, given the, the notes that I already had, I kind of did the shape of the up-down, so now it sounds like this. Okay, so what's the next step? Do some fiddly note choice. What the heck does that mean? So this is, if you know music theory, then this is probably gonna be pretty easy. If you don't, then it's, it's, there's a reason why I called it fiddly note choice, because you just fiddle around with it until it sounds good, right? And that's what a lot of people do anyway, so I'm gonna do that and then cut back. So what does this fiddly note choice actually mean? Well, it looks like this. I'm gonna play through a measure, not the whole thing, just one measure, and listen to it and think, how can I change this to make it better? In terms of moving the notes around. And I think that it sounds a little cramped here, so I'm gonna try and move the notes so that they're a little farther apart. And I think that that sounds better. And that's what this is. That's what this fiddly note choice step is, that's what this procedure is about, and that's really what all of music is about. It's about writing, listening, adjusting, listening, adjusting, over and over again until you're satisfied with your result. Now this procedure makes this whole thing more efficient, but you still gotta do your trial and error. So if you're wondering what's inside of each of these steps, it's trial and error. I think a really good analogy for this whole situation is rolling dice. So if we imagine we have a, a rhythm die and a shape die and rolling a six is good, we want all of the dice to have a six. Rolling them one at a time 
is far more efficient than rolling them all at once. So that's what this procedure is really doing. It's not feeding you the melody, but it's making the process more efficient so that you have more time to make it good. All right, so I've done some fiddly note choice and this is what it sounds like now. So I hope you see how this process is going, like we're kind of doing one element at a time. And now it's about wonky fun stuff, man. So so wonky fun stuff, what does that mean? That means like little bends, like I have a couple bends already. Right, that little thing. Right, little bends like that. Grace notes, I did add some extra notes in here and I think this was an extra note that I added in. Uh, but yeah, you know, adding extra notes, adding grace notes, adding slides, adding little wobbles. Um, and then of course, after the fact, in the context of the song, maybe you're gonna do like filter sweeps or, or whatever. Um, but that's not really part of the melody, that's part of more of the overall composition. Anyway, that's what I'm gonna do now, so let's do that. Bro. It's like a freaking like a zipper. It's pretty dope, I'd say. All right, wonky fun stuff has been applied. Let's see what it sounds like now. And there you go. Like, I think that's pretty good. Like, isn't that pretty cool? Like for 140 BPM, it's pretty short. Like, I'd probably want to do like an 8 bar melody if I really was making a 140 BPM song. However, this is a great demonstration, I think, of the procedure itself, and that's what the video is all about. Okay, but does it really work? Does this procedural melody writing really work? I think yes, because I actually made a full track with the procedural melody that I made a while ago. Um, and I think it sounds awesome. I think it's a really cool track. I hope you enjoy it too. The ending is so cool. Doesn't really have anything to do with the fact that it's a procedural melody, but whatever. The ending is cool. I hope you enjoy it. Here it is. It's called Valiety. Enjoy. <laughs>
Thank you so much for watching. Hope this helped you. Hope that you go make some sick procedural melodies. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah, you know. Okay, but also hope that you enjoyed Valiety, and I think it's out on Spotify and iTunes and all those places, so definitely go check it out there, share it with your friends and all that, you know? <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. See you next video. Bye.